Very brutal action. Video! Cincinnati Bengals versus Kansas City Chiefs. 2023 AFC Championship game. A rematch from last year's championship game. Now I know some of you who are returning viewers may be wondering why I didn't post yesterday. I was in New York, so I was a little bit slacking. But we're back home, and I did watch the game. And it's, you know... Listen, we got a lot to talk about with this game right here. It was an exciting game. It was a thrilling game. Um, it may be a game we see quite a bit more often in the playoffs for years to come. Joe Burrow. He had an okay game, not the greatest game. Um, 26 for 41, 20 interceptions, one touchdown. He didn't have the greatest game. They could not, they they did not, they could not run the ball to save their life. Let me say that. T. Higgins is a problem. A lot of teams are focusing in a lot on Jamar Chase. Let me tell you, T. Higgins is that he T. Higgins, come to the Cowboys. Come to the Cowboys. Come to the Cowboys. We need you. Um, the defense, they did exceptionally well. Um, however, there's just one guy. Let me go highlight it. Can I not? Can I? I won't let me highlight. Joseph Osai. Um, I don't know if he can show his face in Cincinnati, Ohio again. Okay, we have a pop ups for no reason. Joseph Osai. He's out of bounds. He, he, he has one leg. And you push him in the back to give a 15-yard foul, uh, uh, personal foul that essentially gives him a 40-yard kick when it would have should have been 55. It would have been 55. They moved it up 15, ended up being a 40-yard kick for y'all to lose the game. And no one, you can't blame anybody but yourself. No one but yourself. Joseph Osai, what on earth are you doing? He's running out of bounds. He's on one leg. And and, and, and and you pushed him. Man. Ah. That is. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Now the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes. Now he did have that one fumble. Where it. I don't even know. He was hurt though like a quick out. That could have been disastrous. However, the Bengals didn't do anything with the ball. The Chiefs got a big stop, and so it ended up not being. It didn't cost them any points. It, it may have cost them points, but the Bengals didn't score off that turnover. You know what I'm saying? So that helped limit it right there. But Patrick Mahomes, that could have been very, very bad because uh, the uh, Bengals could take a dominating or it was so titter tatter right there, tit, tit, tit for tat. But that really could have just propelled them into like with the momentum. However, it didn't happen. Neither team ran the football very well at all. As you can see right here, they didn't get over what, like that's like, what less than 50 yards rushing. And most of this came on that last play was like what? Four yards came on that last play. Marcus Valdez Scantling. Showed up, showed up. I don't think he had to get this. May be the game of his life. Maybe this is the game of his life, without a doubt. One hundred percent. Marquez Valdez Scantling will never have a game like this again in his life. He will not. Travis Kelsey always shows up. Best tight end in the league, and it's not even a question. Mark Andrews does not compare. Dallas Goddard. For all the Eagles fans, Dallas Goddard isn't even close to Travis Kelsey. Get back. All right. Uh, what else? Isaiah Pacheco. He did okay coming out of the backfield. It's nice. Um, Juju Smith-Schuster. Absolute no-show. Absolute no-show. Come on now. Chris Jones is legit. Chris Jones is legit. He had that sack at the end of the game that really... You know what I'm saying? He, was, he kept disrupting. Kept disrupting. Uh, Chris Jones is elite. Now... Um, I had I already knew that the Chiefs were gonna win this game. I didn't think the Bengals because the be up to for Joe Burrow to go back to Arrowhead and beat Patrick Mahomes for the second year in a row in the NFC Championship game would have been insane. Um, there's a lot of Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes comparisons right now, and you know 
hey, I can see why. Uh, Joe Burrow leads his team back-to-back -back years to the AFC Championship game. He beat them last in the NFC Championship game. It was a very close score in the Super Bowl. I mean, last second drive, they have an opportunity to go down the field and win it and or tie it. Um, so, Joe Burrow is playing well enough to where, he, you know, any given year is this year to win a Super Bowl. However, that being said, he has won nothing in the National Football League. He has not won an MVP. Um, he did not win a... Uh, he hasn't won any, you know, individual award. He hasn't won any team award except if you want to call a, a AFC championship. Um, that being said, he's not won a Super Bowl. He hasn't won an MVP. He hasn't won an Offensive Player of the Year. He hasn't won a, a Rookie of the Year. Um, Patrick Mahomes has. Patrick Mahomes has an MVP, a Super Bowl MVP, and a Super Bowl champion. Um, so that, with, with that being said, um, Joe Burrow does not belong in the He... I can't say belong in the conversation. It really shouldn't be a debate. Because Patrick Mahomes not only is more talented than Joe Burrow, he also has more accolades than Joe Burrow. It's, I mean, it's literally as simple as that. Patrick Mahomes is more talented and has more accolades. And he's doing it with less weapons. Because if you ask me, I would much rather have Hayden Hurst, Jamar Chase, and T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd over Marcus Valdez Cantley, Tra Travis Kelsey, and you know Dudu Smith Schuster and Kadarius Tony. I would much rather have them. Much, 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 much. So not only that, but the running backs they have uh, P. Ryan and Mixon. I think P. Ryan and Mixon are better than Pacheco and McKinnon. If you ask me, if you're being quite honest. Uh, that's just being very, very honest. Andy Reid, what a coach. Why did the Eagles ever fire him? I, I don't know. But the Eagles are in the Super Bowl, too. And you definitely want to make sure you read that reaction video. However, Andy Reid, I mean, he's doing great, he's doing great things, great things, great things. Um, he's definitely going to be wanting, wanting to beat his former team. Pour them all, let them know they were stupid, dumb, um, slow, didn't know what they were doing, and all of the above. No, it looks like they were really getting after quarterback. So I know that the game before it didn't really matter uh, that they had a messed up bum offensive line. But Chris Jones had two sacks. Frank Clark had a sack and a half. Um, George Karlaftis had a sack. Willie Gray had a half a sack. So it looks like they were really getting after the quarterback just based on the stats. And if you watch the game, you know that they really did get after this quarterback. Um, Jerry Burrow had to get the ball out a lot. Um, a late. Um, Chris Jones was coming in. Or I think it was Chris Jones. And uh, Joe Burrow just threw the ball right into the, in the, in, into the, into the ground. Inside the pocket. Flag of the play. Intentional grounding. Send him back 15 or 10 yards and a loss of downs. Man, that was tough. Anyways, with all that being said, all I have to say is that the Mahomes-Burrow debate shouldn't be a debate. Shouldn't be a debate. It's my home. It's my home's all the way. It's my homeland. Not it's not Burrowhead. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Actually, next, deuces.